Hello, everybody, and welcome to Naturally Kim's Knitting. I'm Kim, and this is my podcast about the knitting that I have been doing while visiting my daughter and grandchildren out in California. Um, today is, I have to get my notes up, or I won't know. Today is October 29th, and this is episode 229. Oh my goodness, that is such a weird coincidence. Um, I want to let you guys know I'm very happy to be visiting with you today. Um, it's been a bit busy week, and this next week is just going to be just as busy. Um, a week from tomorrow, we will be flying home. <laughs> so it, it is just crazy. So next week, I'll probably still do my podcast from California, but then after that, my background will change. Okay, let's see. Let me get on with the administrative side of my, of this fun thing I call a podcast or a vlogcast or whatever you want to call it. Anyways, you can find me online as Naturally Kim's Knitting on YouTube, Blogger, Facebook, and WordPress. You can find me on Ravelry. I have a Napier's Knit page and then we have our podcast groups page which is naturally kim's knitting podcast group then on instagram i'm knitting underscore kim okay now being a podcast group we just have to have some kind of knit alongs going on right that's the way it seems anyways well yes we have two at the moment soon to be three <laughs> Yeah, a little crazy, but I, I, this one that's coming up is a passion of mine. Anyways, right now we do our, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's our knit along for finished objects or craft along for knit, knit, for finished objects because it doesn't have to be knit. It could be any craft that you finish in the month of October. Take a picture of it, click, click. And just place the picture in the correct thread on the on the Naturally Kim's Knitting podcast group. And if there's a pattern name, place that. And then what I do is I use Random Number Generator. And I try to do it on November 1st. It depends what I'm doing next week on November 1st. I don't know. Actually, that's Friday. I still don't know. <laughs> I'm walking the kids to the library at some time with my husband. And other than that, that could take all day. Because, you know, kids walking, library, all things that are great. So anyways, um, I will, if I don't, I will send you either a mini video or something to let the winners know. And that was, so like I said, that's the finished object craft along. Then we have crafting in red, white, or green for Christmas or winter holidays. That's what I'm going to say. This was my granddaughter's brainstorm, and I would keep it just for Christmas, but then that would be leaving a lot of people out, and I don't want to do that. So, so we'll keep her title in here, which is knitting red, green, or white for Christmas, but then I'm going to add in other winter holidays. <laughs> Um, yeah, my granddaughter wanted, she wanted to come up with a craft along. And when she said that, I said, well, that's perfect for, you know, Christmas time. So we started this at the beginning of October and it's going to run till the end of November. And it is just what it says it is. Whatever you craft, it has to be a red, green, or white. And it has to be for one of the winter holidays. Um, when I say winter holidays, I mean anything through the end of December, you know, December 31st, because that's when I do the drawing. No. Wait a minute. Okay. November 30th, because that's when I do the drawing. The holidays can go through December um, 31st. Get my day straight. I will eventually. I say that. I never have my day straight. You guys know this. Sorry about that. Uh, it is a two-month craft along, uh, let the, and your projects could not have been started before October 1st. When you submit it, please put, if there's a pattern name, please put that with it. 
um, put it in the correct thread under the Naturally Kim's Knitting podcast group. And you could poly dip. If you finish something and you want to put it in the finished object thread and the red, white, and crafting in red, white, and green thread, feel free to. If there's another thread or if there's another um, craft along open that you want to also put it in and it's okay with them, do it. Have a blast. I hope, I hope that, yeah. I wish I could say I hope everybody wins. And I do wish that you could, but it's not going to, it's not realistic. It could happen. It's happened before because for every 10 entries, I add another prize. So if I have 10 crafters submit something, that's one. Then from 11 to 20, there'll be an additional prize drawn. And I've had, oh, I've had over 60 things, I think, um, submitted one time. And they were all by six knitters or six crafters. So yeah, it can happen. Okay, um, the prizes for the, both this and the finished object, because I'm not home, I can't get to my prize closet. Um, the prize for this may change when I do get to my prize closet. But for right now, it, um, the winners will have a, a choice between the $10 Knit Picks, $10 Amazon gift card, or any pattern valued up to $10. Okay, now, oh, and with all my giveaways, the winners have two weeks from the time they're announced to claim their prize. If they don't claim it, I'm sorry. It has, it, it, if it's a gift card, well, whatever it is, will be put back in the pot, so <laughs> sort to of say. I do feel like I, I felt like I was here before I got started, but then I just got, kind of feel like I'm wandering. I think it's because the house is so quiet. My daughter, my husband, yes, he's here. My granddaughter and my grandson are all at my daughter's work today. And so I have a quiet house, except for the cats fighting. And it just feels weird, but you know, so I guess the quietness is just overwhelming me, which I'm going to have to get used to because when I go home, I have a very quiet house. So my father-in-law does not make that much noise and my husband's not there till evening. So, you know, this is a plea, friends. You need to get hold of me and <laughs> contact me. Fill my life with noise again. Okay, um, let's see. Now, starting November, going to the end of December, November 1st, yeah, this is why I said we're going to have three before long, um, we'll be having a knitting for, or crafting for others, craft along. This is near and dear to my heart, and since I've been out here, I've not been able to knit for others as much. Yes, I've knit for others, and what I've been knitting is absolutely fine except for the sweater that I made that was a pattern test, because that's for me. But I've been working on socks. I've been doing things for my granddaughter, you know, things like this. But I've not been as, do, do, been as doing, but I've not been doing as much as I usually do. So, um, yeah, when I get home, I'm going to start making chemo caps. I'm going to start making socks again. Um, but it doesn't have to be something for charity. If you're making a gift, um, if you're making it for a charity, if you're making it for um, a gift exchange, these are all knitting for others. All you have to do then when it comes time will be put it in the right threads and everything. But this is something that really has always meant a lot to me because I like knitting for others. This is crafting for others. I kind of get that out of my head sometimes. Not knitting for others crafting for others. And then I want you guys to look ahead because January and February, we're going to do a cashmere junkie or Tyga Hilliard's designs um, knit along. Now, to help me out, if you could go to cashmere junkie's site and see what kind of patterns you might like. 
um, is there, because if there's one specific one, she asked me which pattern we're going to do. So if we can come up with one, so I would say vote for your top five and whichever one gets the most votes, I will let you know. Um, since that's not for until January, I'll give you until Thanksgiving. Um, there is a thread already under Ravelry. If you would like to just comment under the show notes, feel free to do that. I'll take them into, I'll put them in the same place. I usually write them down on a notebook and then see what I have. But if we can agree on one pattern, that would be great. But if not, we have, you know, very wide choice or very wide, um, yeah. I'm not tired. I don't know what's wrong. If we cannot agree, then um, each one, just go ahead. Well, at that point, we'll get your own patterns and yarn. And starting January 1st, we'll start knitting those. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to I've pattern tested many of her things before. And says, I just finished up pattern testing this lovely, lovely sweater. It's going to be available, I want to say the end of November. I'm not sure. It's a beautiful sweater, and it's just basically plain knitting until you get to the border. And it's top down. It's lovely. Anyways, um, so go ahead and look at Cashmere Junkie. See if there's a pattern there that you might be interested in. Um, list your top five she has everything from baby doll clothes to shawls to sweaters to you know so pick your top five put them in either under in the show notes or under or in um the ravelry thread and i will let you know around thanksgiving time in america which ones we chose or which one we chose maybe i'll give you an option between a couple if we have a couple that are high in numbers. I am more, I'm usually more together than this. Well, no, you know, I'm not. I wish I were. Okay, what's on my needles? Well, I want to show you something. I am so tickled. It's not on my needles. But Genevieve has, oh, I'm sorry, that's my granddaughter, except we have another Miss Loop here. Genevieve wanted to learn how to finger knit. So I got this yarn. I saw it on um, Marley Bird Knits. My daughter sent me the link. And I have never finger knit before. This is nice, soft, fluffy yarn. Why did I, I, I can't remember what the name of it was. You can't find it in the stores. I had to actually get this, I think it was on Amazon. And, um, it's a loop, it's a loopy yarn. <sighs> Let me show you. It has these loops. Okay. I would show you where I'm at and take off from there, but I noticed that somewhere along the line. I don't know. I think we're okay. So let me show you real fast because I love this. If I get my fingers in the right places. You know, when you take it off, it is hard to find just the right place that your fingers were at. And let's see, Genevieve and I decided. Nope, I have missed loops clear down here. But you would put this on your fingers and you just put the loop over the previous one. And we're doing four fingers. And then just take the bottom loop and slip it over the top. And it's a real fun way to get her to experience a little fun knitting. And she's making a scarf for herself. I told her, I think that's cool. That's really wonderful. I may have, And we've been working on it together. So I may have to get back in there and uh, do a little correction. We Neither one of us have been paying attention to it as of late. So... When you've been someplace four months, it's easy to lose track of things. I just show you, I'm drinking this. I don't know how you say it. Bai? Bai? Bay? 
It's a antioxidant infusion, zombie of being cherry. Molly's been picking me up these teas and oh, Suvana and oh, all kinds of things. And I love them all, but I had a flavor I've not liked. So, anyways, so now let's talk about what's on my needle. Well, when I get home in a week and a day, I probably won't be doing much. <laughs> Number one, I know it's colder in Ohio and the weather is dreary, which just seeps right into my joints. And then flying and hurrying around in airports, that's not going to help. I know the first day I'm back, I may do some plain knitting and that may be it. I may be, well, I'll probably be doing plain knitting on the plane. <laughs> plain knitting on the plane. Sorry. Okay. At home on my spinning wheel, probably won't be doing it for a couple days after I get home, though, are my socks, or my yarn that I've made for my socks. I was plying them, I believe, when I came here. We will find out. I might still be spinning. <laughs> it's been a while. But it, I know it's made out of Shetland wool and my um, nylon, and I just blended it together. And I'm going. I'm trying to see if it makes a yarn that I'm happy with. If not, I may have to alter quantities. But so I have that. Oh, I knew I have to tell you that. Well, and then I have a shawl that I'm working on at home. But I do want to tell you, when I get home, I will have things that I have, need to share with you. Because last week, <laughs> Linda, Ellen Cole, and I, we were entered in a drawing at in Instagram. We entered a drawing in Instagram. Um, oh, Linda, help me. I don't remember the name of the, the group or the lady. It would probably take me forever to bring it up. Sorry, I made my eyes super big there. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. My phone's almost dead too. I thought I knew how. No. That wasn't who we won from. That was another one that I won that I'll tell you about. Um, I'm looking at Linda's because she, she texted me. Yarnaceous. I want... It's... Oh... oh. I'll, I can't wait to show you when I get home because Linda said it's cute and I trust Linda. Then today I entered another drawing and it was for Sh um, Shetland Wool Adventures, a journal from Misa, Misa Misa Hay. I'm excited because in it, it talks up about um, the Shetland area. And I love working with Shetland Wool. So I'm tickled about that. So yes, I don't care if I went a little bit off topic there. It's exciting. So I don't know if that'll be there when I get home or not. We will just have to wait and see. I'm excited. <laughs> and I know they don't watch my podcast, but I still thank both of them so much. Now, since I finished my, my pattern test for Cashmere Junkie, I am working on my granddaughter's butterfly skirt, which my grandson really wants me to finish because he wants a dinosaur sweater. But, so down here, I don't know if you can see it, where the stitches kind of come together there, they look a little bit like butterflies. Well, from here on, it's stock and that stitch with a decrease every six rows, the decrease at every marker, every six rows. So when I finished the other one, I told her I'd pick this up right away and I would start working on it. So this is my main knitting project. And this is the butterfly skirt by Susie Sparkles. And it is modified because it is for a six-year-old. So I have to make it a little longer than what the pattern calls for. But, and I've had to modify the di diameter of the skirt too. Sorry, I'm out of the camera. Um, yeah, I don't think I have to do anything to the waist because she is so petite. If you've seen her on here, she is so petite. And so I really don't think I have to worry about that. Her and her brother weigh almost the same thing. 
So anyway, so that's for my granddaughter. And I'm sorry, my shoulder is still killing me and my thumb. So, um, I haven't got started on its twin yet. But since last, I take this with me when I go to my daughter's work. And I've been there once or twice. And I just sit in the background and watch all the fun stuff the kids are doing. And this is the soup kitchen sock. And this is where I left off. And I would tell you the color of this yarn. I, but I'm not sure if it's narwhal. It is chroma twist and fingering weight. And I do love it. But... I'm not going to worry about contacting um, Knit Picks because I've used this. I'm using it for soup kitchen socks. And I'm happy with it. It's, you know, at first it threw me for a loop, as you know. But So uh, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is on the plane, I'm going to take the other ball of that and start the twin for that sock on the way home. I, I'll either do that. Or work on the butterfly skirt because it's pretty plain knitting until you know every six rows I just have to decrease just have to decide and I have aisle seats so I should be I sh and my husband will be on you know the elbow so I should be able to knit on it we'll see I'm not gonna take both because that would be silly I'd like to work on a boat but I can't okay <laughs> sorry <laughs> What's so funny is my next section is always called Let's Chat. And that's about all I do is let's just chat. I do want to share with you um, my daughter and my granddaughter and my grandson. They have the sweetest friends. And they haven't got to see them through this whole pandemic. And they decided to have a Halloween party yesterday. Everybody in mask. Nobody got really close, even though I know that the kids probably wanted to. But it was I wasn't able to go out with it because um, we went out to help get things ready in the morning. And the neighbors here work on their yard every Wednesday. And they send the dust and everything in the air. I got a migraine. So I tried to sit in the bedroom and look out the window, but every time I'd look out the window, the sun would hit me. And I'm like, no. But I did see their costumes, and they were so cute. So anyways, I it was so much fun. Um, see, the other thing, I, I put something else in here, and I don't, and it's not in here. So I don't know what happened to it, because there was something else. Uh, let's see if that did it. there's something else I had down that I wanted to talk about and I'll kick myself not really but oh well there was that I can't think what else we've been so busy um, my daughter gets so busy with the kids um, in case I haven't mentioned what it is she exactly does the kids here are still not going to school um, not physically and so the museum that my daughter works at has made it so that the kids can do their zoom or their whatever whatever their class time is because there's so many different formats on their computers there and they could be over what overseen molly could over watch over them there we go Make sure everybody gets to their classes on time. Make sure they're doing their independent reading. So she's got, she's probably got 13, 14 kids. And we're talking kindergarten, first and second graders. And the kindergartners have never, you know, not been to school before. The first graders had their kindergarten interrupted last year. So everybody is going through a learning curve here. And, the, you know, some of the kids are only on video half a day. Some are on all day. You have people like my granddaughter who is homeschooled at home. But she also, she is part of a charter here, here in this area. And so, um, like last week, they had a harvest party. 
today and she's taking a chess class and she's doing karate and she's doing um chess karate oh and then tomorrow there is they're having a drive-by trick-or-treat i'm not sure what's the deal we aren't going to that because my husband would have to drive because molly of course is teaching but um they have lots of things they have um stem activities she's her next one is supposed to be making a balloon like they have in the macy's day parade of course varying the size she had to take a math problem and write a paragraph they're doing um using different approved apps um she's playing bingo and so she's able to each day like yesterday she did two different programs one for math one for reading so she gets to click off a bingo thing for doing more than for doing two programs in a day so anyways lots of they make it fun they make it challenging uh, a book club she's in a book club too um I think it's terrific because it, especially with Molly teaching now, she can have Genevieve go there and she can do her field trip. She can do her extra things and Molly's there to watch over. And then she can also help her with her homeschooling there at the school. And then when it's free time, she can play with her friends and Tobias, you know, he's great. He's, he has his own little homework, not as much as, my granddaughter, but he has made so many friends there and he'll come home and he'll be exhausted. And of course there will have been little fights throughout the day. And Monday when I was there, something was in the air. The kids were just on, on edge. And so many broke into tears or were yelling and whatever. And Tobias came home and he didn't want to go again this week. And I said, well, that's too bad. I said, cause Brandy's going on Thursday. I said, otherwise you're going to be stuck here with me because, you know, they've been with me for four months. The novelty's worn off. I said, you'll be stuck with me all day. I said, hmm, won't get to play with your friends. Won't get to play with Grandy. So he's you know, a little blackmail, not blackmail, but, you know, a little urging on my part. And so he got up, he wanted to go because Grandy was going. So that's what they call my husband, in case you haven't guessed, is Grandy. <laughs> So anyways, yeah, um, they're all there doing their thing. And when they come home, my daughter has to go to work. So we get to read the children to sleep again. I like doing it. I like reading them to sleep. I think that's what I'll miss. I'll miss our daytimes together. But there's something special about reading the kids to sleep and having them snuggle against you. My grandson will go to sleep in my lap. Of course, moving him, I've had to learn how to do and um yeah it's just something special and i'll miss it but i've already told them they have to do with me they have to you know video chat with me quite often as you know they just have to well my phone battery is dying so let me get on before i get you know starting to cry or something my daughter has a blog it's called moore's adventures in world schooling there's a link um Please check it out. It's all about homeschooling using using the world schooling method, which is wonderful. Um, my friend Nina, she has a, a blog and she has lots of patterns and she's a wonderful lady. And I just love her dearly. I've met her through her um, group that she had online and we would exchange recipes and patterns and we'd have, we'd have oh all kinds of things. Then, I don't know why I'm saving this to the end. I do this every time. So nit, I am an affiliate with Nitpicks, which means that if you click on one of the ads on my um, WordPress or Blogger show notes, I can't do it on um, YouTube because they have their own ads, and I can't do it on Ravelry. So it either has to be on the at my, I'm sorry, wrong thing. Naturally Kim's Knitting um, pages on, what did I just say? WordPress or Blogger, okay? 
So anyways, um, if you click on those, I get a couple pennies from your purchase, which helps with, you know, prizes and things. But they're having a needle sale right now, up to 30% off. So which I need to replace a pair of knitting needles. I will have to look and see if they have my the size I'm looking for because I need size zero or one. Hmm, I have to look. Then they're having a discount on their bare yarn when it's bought in bulk up to 15% off. Then they're having their winter sweater weather sale. When you buy 10 or more skeins of the same yarn, you can save 10% off of that yarn. If you use the um, sweater code, I'm sorry, the code sweater10 at checkout. So I think that's about it. I've gone about 30 minutes by the time I put my intro and my ending. Sorry, it'll be a little long. But um, I want to thank you all for watching today. I really, I really do look forward to these times. I hope you guys do. It makes me feel good um, visiting with you guys. I see, I may not know your, all of your faces, but those of you I do, I see your faces when I'm talking or I'll think of your names and um, the correspondence that we've had together. And it just makes me feel good to know that I have friends out there all over the place. But um, like I said, one more week here and then I'll be back to home. And I hope you guys, as my granddaughter would say, if you like this, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Which I'm not sure if you could do. Well, no, you could do it now. Cause, yeah, because this is, I don't have children in it. Um, and if you like it, please subscribe. Um, anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful week. Very successful crafting. I hope you don't make mistakes, but I hope there are little ones that can be corrected if you do make them. Like in the finger knitting I've got going on. I love all of you. Big, big hugs. Take care and God bless. And I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.